Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video where we're going to introduce and demonstrate some new functionality we've been working on to create faster and, and more um, intelligent IFC exports from Revit. When you run the IFC exporter out of the box, then each time that you run the export process, it converts the entire Revit project into an IFC file. So all the Revit geometry gets converted to IFC geometry and all the parameters get converted to IFC properties. This takes a bit of time. This isn't a very complex model and it still took five or 10 seconds. Um, on a real project, this might take um, hours if uh, you have geometry conversions that are, that, that are quite complex or time consuming. Um, when you sync Revit models to cloud shared models or work shared models, um, it doesn't send the entire file each time. What it does is look for changes in the model and then use the delta or the difference to update or revise the uh, central file with that updated information. What we've been looking at is taking advantage of a um, new feature in Revit 2021 and newer, where you can actually, or Revit application will store a version GUID um, on each element. So each time you update, revise, or modify that element or add the element, this version GUID would be added or revised or changed when you do that. So as a way of tracking changes that might have uh, been altered or modified since the last export or been created since the last export, what we're doing is then adding that version GUID into the IFC data set. So when you run a revised export, you don't necessarily need to convert the entire project into um, IFC, but only the changed elements and merge the previous export, which is a much faster process. In order to control um, which properties and parameters are, are used and, and various other controls, with our tool, you can save the um, IFC um, configuration into the folder where you're going to write the IFC file, and that will be used, which ensures you get consistent exports um, within this Revit project or across multiple Revit projects to form a, a, a real project. Uh, when you run our process for the version GUIDs to be uh, reliable, the model does need to be saved or synced. So the tool will prompt you to do that. Um, and then the first time that you run this, um, we need a baseline file. So we don't, the out of the box process won't inject those version GUIDs in here. So I'm going to cancel and say there's no previous version and then create a baseline or a version one of this model um, as a starting point for, for subsequent models. So this first export will be a little bit slower than the out of the box because it writes the entire, it calls the out of the box exporter. Then we open that file, um, inject in these version GUIDs and then save it. So the first one will be a, a bit slower, but then subsequent model exports will be a lot faster. So I, for example, might um, add some, um, some extra new members to this model uh, as one way of making some changes. Um, and I might take a, a couple of elements and then change change uh, the family assignment to, to these particular objects. So let's say we make this one a UB and maybe make this member here, um, this member here perhaps a UB as well. So now what you should do, if, if we say here's our next version of IFC, if I click revise, it'll prompt me to save. So the version goods uh, are, are are reliable and so now this time I can say here's my baseline IFC as a starting point and then here I can say make version um, one of this IFC file um, and then this will be a lot faster it only has to export a handful of elements and do that merge process as I mentioned so if we come in and have a quick look at the IFC file in a viewer like Salibri then what this process is also doing is it's adding groups of um, elements of elements that have been created or elements that have been modified. So for example, we could then um, have a quick look under these groups. We could see here under created, we could have, have a timestamp here and we can say, here's all the elements in my baseline. Here's all the elements as a filter that were created in the next revision of the IFC file. And similar here, we can see that there's two elements that have been modified or changed um, a, 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 as part of this, this, this version or this, this change history. Um, and just to show quickly, the version GUID is saved, saved here on the tag attribute. 
um, rather than just the integer element. So this, this process can save you lots of time um, if you have large complex projects that are taking a long time to write IFC export, this could be very helpful to squash a process that might take hours down into minutes. Uh, please let us know any feedback if you try this, if you've got suggestions for improvements or spot things that don't work very well, let us know and we'll be glad to review them. Thanks for watching.